Hey, portfolio class, it's Rachel. I wanted to go through uh, where you can find things on our Google Classroom as well as go through the class syllabus. So again, it's just super duper clear what I'm looking for, what you're gonna be doing and how you pass, the most important part. This class is the most advanced class that I teach and I'm glad all of you are willing to take this on. I think it's gonna be a good fit. So you can see this is the main page of the classroom. There won't be a lot in the stream. The stream will only be quick announcements or things I need to let you know very quickly. Um, there are no substitute teachers this quarter. So if for some reason I get sick and class is canceled, I'll have to announce that on the stream. So that is the only reason you will see kind of stuff on the stream. Most of the things you're gonna need are gonna be under the classwork tab. So you can see at the very top is a spot to check in for attendance. You have to check in for attendance every single day. I'll be posting a question that says, hey, it's September 10th, please check in here. And you just say, yep, I'm here. So it should be pretty easy. There's a bunch of ways to get in contact with me. You can click and email me here. I have something called the 24 seven office hour. It's not 24 hours a day, but um, you can leave me a video or an audio message on something called Flipgrid. You just use your school email. It's really easy to get into. Just let me know what you need and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can see our Zoom link is right here. You just click on this, password is right there and you can log into our class Zoom. We'll be meeting twice a week for about 30 minutes. You can see that each week by week is listed here. So all the stuff you'll have to do will be in those spots. And all I'll be going through for the rest of our time with this video is our class syllabus. Again, I always really want anyone who takes my classes to earn credit and pass. So I'm going to try to be super upfront about what we're doing and how you pass. So in terms of the class, um, the reason the class exists is that when I first came to Shabazz, um, students would come up to me and they're like, I'm kind of interested in like being a tattoo artist. What do I do? Or I really want to go to MyAd, um, which is in Milwaukee. It's an art school in Milwaukee. Like, what do I even do? And it's kind of complicated how you prepare to do those those different things involving art. And they needed support. And it made sense to, to generate a class around supporting you with thinking about it. What kind of things would you want to do? What would you need? And the big thing is developing a showcase of your strongest work called a portfolio. So that's really what the class is about. We will not make a ton of art in the class because in theory, you've done art for a while, you like it and you have stuff and it's how do I organize it and create the strongest showcase of my work. So just be aware that if you were thinking this is a class where I just get to make whatever I want the whole time, that's not actually the purpose of it. The purpose of it is to take what you've made, organize it and create a portfolio to show people or to apply for, for different jobs or art schools. So just to make sure to clarify that. So in terms of the course objectives, I'll be reading this part. In this class, students will learn different college and career options in the field of art. So we'll be exploring it together. We will research portfolio requirements in a chosen field and then generate an online portfolio. Now this is the part that I think throws people off. Students will also practice talking about their artwork and hearing feedback and how to showcase their portfolio to a panel of experts in order to receive meaningful feedback. So the big final part of the class is I've invited um, multiple art professionals who are both in the college kind of area and actually artists in our community. And they're gonna be in a Zoom with us. You're gonna show them your work and they're gonna tell you what they think and give you feedback. Um, it's, it takes away my beautiful, subjective, loving opinion of you and gives you real feedback from people who are in the field. It's the most meaningful thing I can do to help you shape a portfolio. So in terms of the skills we're practicing, it just breaks down what I just read. We're practicing research and writing on exploring college and career options. We're practicing how to identify a strong portfolio and then actually build that in an online format. And then we'll practice talking about our work, presenting it, and hearing feedback. Those are the big three things we're doing. Our class meets Monday and Tuesday, 1 to 1.30, so it's just a 30-minute window. And then um, you'll be working independently Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. In terms of how you earn credit, if you've been tuning out, tune back in. This is the really important part. So to earn credit, it's two pieces. One is we'll have our live class. There will be things I'll ask you to kind of generate and do. They're in-class practices. That'll be a piece of your grade that's only 10%. And then 90% um, of your grade are these big projects, which really it's gonna be things like doing research, generating a portfolio, practicing presenting. Um, there will be a project rubric. You'll wanna pass those projects so you can earn a 60% um, in order to earn credit. 
So 60 and above will get you a pass, 59 and below will get you a no credit for the class, okay? In terms of support, this is the same stuff you saw in the classroom. Um, I do keep the Zoom open from 1.30 to 2 right after class if you need help, that's when I'm available. There is the Flipgrid office hours you can use to leave me a quick message, or there is the, um, the email, you can reach me there. And the class calendar, it'll just be a list of kind of everything we're doing. You may want to peek at this because you can see already um, the Minneapolis College of Art and Design is going to be visiting us. Um, UW Madison just reached out to me. They will be on our schedule and my ad as well. So we already have three places and I'll be asking you guys, who do you want to hear from and trying to get them into a live Zoom with us. So the class calendar will probably be handy just to see who is coming when. So I hope this was helpful and please bring questions and concerns to our next Zoom and we'll process as a group. So. Thanks so much.